So today I'm making a video. It's a special request from the Super Robots uh, group, the Facebook group, and uh, Cole English. So for the uh, Super Roboto group on uh, Facebook, I got all dolled up, brushed my teeth and everything, and today I wanted to flip through and show you guys this cool um, Mazinga Z versus Transformers manga. So also want to let you guys know that this is a, a safe for work video. So uh, check it out. All right, guys, let's dive into this. Pretty awesome. Look at that cover. Super cool. Let's see if we could see, you know, kind of what's under the OB here. Bunch of characters on the inner sleeve or the inner jacket, actually the dust jacket and then there's nothing here this would be so cool you know if you could take this to a convention or something and have an illustration drawn here by Gona Guy or somebody who uh, designs the um, the toys or something like that that'd be awesome awesome artwork nice splash page you got Optimus Prime versus um, Mazinga Z here and let's jump right into the story too bad this is all in uh, Japanese. Be great if we can get a um, an English rendition of this. But some cool art so far. And I'm guessing this is going to be your you know your typical um, versus kind of story where. The, the heroes kind of square off against each other and then they figure out that the, the bad guys are kind of manipulating the whole situation and then you know they're gonna band together and take out the bad guys so but hey still very cool the artworks pretty cool a little um, animated looking you know it's very clean mangas are usually a little bit rougher looking um, a lot more sketches you know sketch lines going and and um, stuff like that and this is a little more simple but hey when are you gonna get to see Transformers versus Mazinga Z again be great to have a movie kind of like what they did with the uh, devil man versus cyborg 0009 series or not series movie I guess it was like a three-part OVA right Got the Dinobots in there. Koji Kabuto right here. Sorry, I wish I knew all the names of the characters, but I don't. So I'm not gonna pretend that I do. I'm not gonna pretend that I know all of the um, Transformers and, and whatnot, so. Look at that power fist right there from Mazinga. The Decepticons. Is this guy Starscream? That could be totally wrong. Look at that. So now you have a Mazinga that's like a Transformer illustrated here on this uh, left page. Really cool. And it looks like you have this uh, uh, Transformer here that's kind of Mazinga Z'd out here. So I wonder how that happened. I'd love to be able to read it and figure out what happened there. And then this, this looks typical, like a little more, you know, uh, manga looking here. With the exception of the fact that it's in color. So it's really cool actually that it's all in color. It's quite a treat. You never really see too many full manga books that are entirely in color. And of course this is, you know, a really short book for being a manga. Because mangas are, you know, a good 
two, probably 300 pages or something like that. So this is kind of more almost like uh, comic book style. And then of course, you know, whatever happened kind of got uh, resolved here and uh, back to normal. Everybody's back to normal and uh, happy campers. And then you have Grandma Zinga here. So hopefully there'll, there'll be a second book, a part two. And then here in the back you get uh, a little, um, let me see if I can grab that page there. You get some art in the background. It looks like it might be by various artists. So here you have the, the color cover illustration here. And uh, then you have Mazinga with a bunch of uh, transformers down here. And then something more painted looking here in more of, I would say, like Gona Guy's style of painting. And you have some breakdowns here. These could be what you know the, the original concepts were going to be for this illustration, and then they decided to, to do this, or who knows? Who knows what it is? Dino bot here and the boss robot from uh, Mazinga Z and of course Optimus Prime. Another cool shot, new cool illustration together and here as well. And then in the back you have some um, model sheets of, of the characters and I don't know if these are characters, I, I don't recall these characters being in the Mazinga Z universe. And uh, I don't know if they're in the Transformer universe, but I'm guessing that they're not. I'm guessing that these characters were kind of made up for this particular book. I could be wrong. There's some more illustrations here. And then super cool Transformer Mazinga Z looking robot here. I'm sure, Cole, you would love to have this in your collection, front and center. Who wouldn't? We all would. Looks pretty amazing. And that's it, guys. Thanks for watching. Press the uh, subscribe button. I, uh, I post every so often. And, um, you know, a lot of manga books, uh, anime art books, artwork record collections. Basically, you know, I'm a collector of uh, toys, books, records, and whatnot, and I like to draw as well, so I'll be posting stuff like that. Hit the uh, subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.